mastering the menu bar's volume button on the Mac. What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff Benjamin with I Download Blog. Now the volume button in the menu bar may seem pretty unassuming, may seem pretty insignificant actually. You click it, you get a volume slider that allows you to adjust the output volume of your device. And that is pretty much it. Uh, pretty simple, pretty straightforward, pretty ho-hum actually. But that all changes when you hold the Alt Option key on your keyboard. Watch what happens. I'm gonna hold Alt Option now and then click the volume button and bam, look what you get. You get the ability to change the output device and the input device on the fly. So it lists all the available output devices. I have my internal speakers of my Mac MacBook, I have my Apogee One audio interface, and I have this Fire TV, which is running an AirPlay service. This is actually an Amazon set-top box. If I had an Apple TV hooked up, you would see the Apple TV here. And I could basically output all the sound from my Mac directly to uh, one of these output devices, including AirPlay devices. So if I was playing Spotify and I wanted it to go to the speakers in my living room, I could just hold the Alt Option key, click the volume button, and then just click on Fire TV there and it would output the sound there. Pretty cool. You can also change the input device. I could change to my internal microphone. You don't want to hear that. It is terrible. It is my internal microphone on my MacBook. So I have it running through an Apogee mic, which is much better sounding. And then lastly, you can change the, or you can access the sound preferences directly uh, from the volume button in the menu bar when you hold the Alt Option key. So I'm going to click here and that will take you directly to the sound preference in system preferences with no detours whatsoever. Now there's one other thing that I want to show you about this. This is actually really cool. Something that I kind of just learned recently. You can actually adjust the alert volume using the volume button in the menu bar. Now you may be wondering what is the alert volume, Jeff? Well, it's this little sound here. Actually the alert volume is all the way down. So I'm going to turn it up and tell me if this sound sounds familiar to you. <laughs> Have you heard that before? You can actually change that alert sound if you want to, um, but I have it set to funk. No doubt you've probably heard that before. That usually comes up when you try to do something that's invalid on your Mac. Um, this will sound this alert and let you know, hey, you can't do that. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to adjust the alert volume from the volume button in the menu bar. So normally when you click this, this is just the normal output volume. This isn't the alert volume. Um, but if I hold the shift key on my keyboard before clicking the volume button in the menu bar, then that will switch over to the alert volume. So I'm gonna hold shift and then I'm gonna click the volume button. And now this is the alert volume slider. So I can just slide down here and that's actually adjusting the alert volume. You can actually see it move there in the system preferences as I move it down here to the bottom. So now I basically turn the alert volume all the way down um, and that's it. So now when I actually click on one of these, you don't hear anything because the alert volume's all the way down. Uh, I can go back here. Now, if I just click without holding shift, this is just my normal volume for my Mac. But if I hold shift again and click it, this is the alert volume. I'm going to turn it all the way back up now. And then, yeah, so you hear it now. So that allows you to adjust the alert volume directly from the volume button in the menu bar. Uh, something that's, I guess, a lot of people probably don't know, but it's really cool that you can do that uh, by means of holding the shift key. So there's lots more than meets the eye with the volume button in the menu bar. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownload Blog.